What's going on guys? It's that guy with movies back here again. And today we are going to be going to Goodwill and Savers. So hopefully maybe we can find some more 3D Blu-rays. Maybe we can find some Blu-rays. Maybe find some rare DVDs. Maybe, I don't know, maybe we can even find a laser disc. But stay tuned and or stay tuned to see what I picked up. And anyway though, let's go on to uh, you know Savers and Goodwill and, and let's see what they have today. Heading on into Goodwill now. The other ones, let's see what they have today. Alright guys, so we're inside Goodwill right now taking a look at the dollar stuff and it has seemed like they restocked. I found a few things so far in here. So let's take a look right now and uh, I'll show you guys what they have here. Uh, they actually have the new war for the Planet of the Apes here, well from a couple years ago, for only a dollar. That's a pretty good deal for a really good movie. But they have that one here. Um, those that have a double feature Napoleon Dynamite and Revenge of the Nerds. Unfortunately, the discs aren't in there, so I'll be paying a dollar for a case. But, uh, yeah, nothing there. And if we go down here, seems like there's nothing too much either. As well as down here, they have a few kind of interesting stuff here, like Chrysalis. No idea what that is. But they have that here. Uh, Season of the OC. And down here, they have a Blu-ray of Avatar, which I do, of course, already have. And then they have some games down here, but who cares about those? It's just sport games anyways. But if we go up here, I would have liked to have grabbed Curse of Chucky, but unfortunately, it is uh, Rock of Ages. So, obviously, I'm not going to get that because I do have Rock of Ages, and it's not the right movie anyways. Uh, we also have a double feature, Father of the Bride. Um, some new stuff like Minions here. And like I showed, Planet of the Apes, and go down here, there's just a few more TV shows than that, as well as down here, which is not too much. Like I said, I did find some stuff already, but down here is just the first season of Alias, and down here is just like mostly kid stuff, but there's nothing. So that's about it for the dollar shelf. So now this is the rack that's kind of, I guess, adjacent to the dollar shelf. They have a couple of these Star Trek ones, sort of, I do have, well I don't have the Wrath of Khan one, but I'm not paying $4 for that. Um, I do have the Voyage Home one already though, but down here, the Brothers, and then, well we have the Brothers, and then we have Brother, but uh, that's about it for there. And over on this side here is just mostly their TV shows, so they have stuff like the you know, Entourage and that. Uh, like NCIS, Merlin, The Living Color, True Blood, and stuff like that. Nothing I'm really interested in though. They have a whole bunch of like anime here. Have no interest in that, of course. And down here, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot. So let's go on to the other side here. Uh, once again, nothing really on here. As well as over here as well. They do have quite a few things that are uh, like a buck fifty on sale, but nothing really interesting though. They do still have some HD DVDs here: The Born Supremacy, American Gangster, and Talk to Me. None of those are on sale though, and they have a few Disney tapes that are on sale as well. And over here now, um, I don't think I, I don't think I saw anything over here, but. Uh, yeah, this is this is just all regular price stuff. Nothing too much to talk about here. A whole bunch of IMAX ones. You see those like every everywhere. But that's about it for this rack here. So now this is over on just their wall of regular price stuff. They do have some Blu-rays here. Like they got like uh, Game of Thrones, like the fourth season and then the second season here. Um, somebody like Geronimo, you see that X up there. That's their Prince of Persia on Blu-ray. I actually didn't mind this movie. Actually, I didn't. Yeah, like I said, I didn't mind that one. It was pretty good. Uh, there's a double feature here of Romancing the Stone and Jalil Denial. I do have both of those movies, though. And if we go down here, there's once again Prince of Persia just on DVD. I do have the DVD of that already. And if we go down here... Sorry, I'm also looking to... Um, doesn't seem to be anything there. But now if we go over here... I'll just take a look and see. They have, they have a steelbook of 10,000 BC. I hear nothing but bad things about that movie, so probably not going to pick that one up. But even more IMAX, it is crazy how many of these they have here. They have not one, 
not two, not three, not four, but almost five whole shelves just dedicated to IMAX titles. And I do have almost pretty much all of those already. So do not really need to get those. So here's just another look at some more stuff here. They've got like Law and Order for TV shows and then got stuff like The Wiz. Uh, and we got the Tomb Raider double feature set. Doesn't seem to be on this shelf too much that's, uh, you know, like half price. But we'll just keep going down here and just seeing. Um, that's about it for there. Up here, uh, it doesn't seem to be anything I mean, not there either. And if we just keep going down here, nothing too much. I have a bunch of sealed ones of the fighter and Alvin and Chipmunks the rogue chip. Uh, those that have stuff like wrestling titles, but not really interested in that. Um, we keep going up too. There's just, you know, just kind of like a lot of junk mostly. Um, you know, a lot of, a lot of the time I see Hercules uh, or thrifting. Um, not I have it on Blu-ray already, so I don't really need to get it, but I just thought I'd point that out. I see it a whole lot. Um, this will get a triple feature of Jack Black movies here. Nacho Libre, School of Rock, and Orange County. And if you keep going up here, let's have Bondi Rescue. I believe this was a pretty good show, but they're Australian DVDs, so probably won't be able to play them anyways. But if we keep going here, they have a lot of the Perch movies as well. Um, this one I haven't watched. I've seen the other three though. So I'll probably get around to watching that one soon. I hear that's probably the best one out of all of them. But if we keep going down, we have more True Blood seasons. Um, those that have Friday the 13th 3D. Kind of a random thing to point out, but we have that one here. Uh, Let's have a Bugs Life here. I'm probably going to look out for the two-disc one instead of just the super old other one. Uh, I think True Romance is still out of print. I do already have the movie, though, but I just thought I'd point that out. I have it on Blu-ray, though. <clears throat> like the super old Blu-ray. Um, if we keep going down here. I have a couple more Star Trek sealed ones. So that's kind of cool. Um, we'll just keep going up here. It's nothing too much to talk about. I'm kind of surprised. Let's have the Alien Quadrilogy, the big huge box set that's like $12. Um, Monsters University, which I actually I did order from Disney Movie Rewards, so that might be coming soon in another video where I do um, more Disney Movie Rewards pickups. But uh, I'll just keep going here. Uh, what's this? Dino Croc vs. Super Gator. I'm sure that'll probably be a fun time. Uh, let's have a Christmas Carol as well. The uh, Emerald Edition. It's kind of neat. This is the Drama Collection, The Blind Side, Contagion, Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, Blood Diamond, and The Shawshank Redemption. I have all those except for Contagion. Uh, we have Futurama Season. Um, kind of some bootlegs, The Shark Tale. Uh, you know, it seems to be a lot of just kind of like junk, to be honest. But. I think Apocalypto is still out of print. I do have a copy of that already. There, the Blu-ray is, I think, probably even more rare than the DVD. But uh, that appears to be about it for uh, this whole entire wall right here. So that's pretty much about it for Goodwill. All right, guys, heading on into Savers now. So let's go in inside and see what they have. Probably going to be busy because of all the Halloween stuff there. Alright guys, inside savers right now. I only found a couple things so far that I'll see what they have here. I have a Barbara Streisand collection, I have no interest in that. Let's have an Elvis collection too, which has only like four movies in it. Kid Galahad, Clam, Clam Bane, Follow That Dream, and Frankie and Johnny. Movies I've never heard of before. Let's have the Ghostbusters 1 and 2 set here. I do already have that. And if we go down here, I'll just take a look here. There's a whole bunch of these like foreign ones. I think that's a uh, bootleg. I don't know, Ben Hur, but King Kong, Bingo. I don't think I've ever seen Bingo a whole lot. But, uh, Elf and Tail 2. That's about it for that shelf. You know, if we go down here, there's a whole bunch of these, like, UK releases too, like they have. Uh, there's Cocktail, Minority Report. Um, 
Let's we'll just keep going here. We have a sealed one. <clears throat> Cabin in the Woods. I love Cabin in the Woods. It's such a great movie. Uh, Cape Fear. We're going down here. They actually have a uh, Dragon Dynasty one, but it is like destroyed. So I'm probably not going to grab that one. But uh, yeah, if we just keep looking here. I don't really have too much splash. I don't think I have splash, but I checked the disc and uh, destroyed, of course. But down here. We'll see what they have. Here's another UK release, Home Alone 3. Uh, Spider Whip Chronicles. I think I watched that one a long time ago, and I, I can't really remember that one. But there's that. And if we go down here, not too much. They have a bunch of newer ones, like Ted 2, of course. Ted 2. I actually, I didn't, I didn't mind that one, actually. Uh, Neighbors, Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. Um... And if we just keep looking here, it's not too much. We have a couple more ones, Planet of the Apes, Panic Room, and let's have a double, triple feature of bringing out the dead snake eyes and face off. And that's pretty much it for that. And if we go over here, they have a couple Blu-rays here. A lot of like Disney ones. But they've got uh, Ratatouille. They've got, hold on, sorry about that. Secretariat, uh, Pixar Short Films Collection, and Tomorrowland. I probably would have picked up Tomorrowland, but it does not have the code inside, so I'm probably not going to grab that one. They have a whole bunch of HD DVDs here, but for $6, I'm probably not going to pick any of these up. They have Enter the Dragon here, Apollo 13. Um, a lot of the ones I don't have, but these have been here for so long, so I can probably just come back anytime and grab those. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much about it. They've been having such a weak selection of movies here recently, but yeah, that's about it. All right, guys, just got back home from both Savers and Goodwill. I'll save the Goodwill stuff till last because there's a really cool DVD that I do want to show you guys, and I'll save it for last. I'll leave it a surprise for you guys. So make sure you guys stay tuned till the end of these pickups here to see what I got, that really super cool DVD there. And I'll show you guys the saver stuff first. So I picked up four movies there, one Blu-ray, two DVDs, and a really cool thing that I'll also surprise you guys with. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of both pickups here. So I'll show you guys the saver stuff first because I do want to keep the last movie for the Goodwill stuff a surprise. So the first and only Blu-ray that I picked up at Savers. I usually see these types of Blu-rays kind of commonly, but not really. Not too often at, well, I guess I kind of do see them a lot at thrift stores, but th this one here is kind of more just kind of a demo one. It's not necessarily a movie or anything. It's more kind of just a demo disc here. And this one was originally presented in IMAX 3D theaters, and that is Ocean Wonderland 3D. There's no, like, kind of special bells and whistles or anything like that about this one. It's just the Blu-ray here, and it, it is just the the 3D Blu-ray, it didn't come with anything else, but these kind of demo-ish ones, or IMAX ones, this is just another one to add to my IMAX collection here, and it's also a 3D one as well. I believe this is actually a Universal title, but usually Warner Brothers releases the IMAX ones, but this one here was, like I said, originally presented in IMAX 3D theaters, so this one is kind of more just a demo-ish kind of one. It's only 41 minutes, so it's not too, too long, but you know, Ocean Wonderland 3D, this should probably look really, really good in 3D. And also, Warner Brothers, when they release their IMAX ones, they actually put out, you know, all those DVDs that you usually see a whole lot and everything. But they also put out a couple ones on 3D as well. Like, I think there was one with monkeys called Born to be Wild. There was a couple, like, space ones, like Hubble and that, that they, re that they released in 3D. That would be a really good one to get in 3D. I really want that one, but... Ocean Wonderland 3D. I'll settle for this one for right now. I do kind of want just a demo-ish kind of one. And this one should look really, really good in 3D. Especially if it's shot in native 3D and not just like post-converted or something. I'm sure this probably was because it is an IMAX 3D movie. But still, Ocean Wonderland 3D. It should look really, really good in 3D. Once I do get that PlayStation VR thing, um, I'll, pro I'll probably do an unboxing on that first off. And then I'll probably show you guys... You know, some 3D stuff in action there. But that's once I get that, the VR thing. Um, 
one day. But yeah, anyway though, that's Ocean Wonderland 3D. So that's the only Blu-ray that I picked up from Savers. So now I'll go on to the two DVDs that I picked up. And the one and only movie, I guess you could say, I picked up there is actually one that I don't see too often. Actually, I've never seen it at all thrifting, but I finally have a copy of it now, and that is Freeway. This is a super old DVD, I think. It says 2000 on here, but I'm sure this is probably older, probably like 96, I'd say. I do have a couple of these older, like it's just widescreen on the side and that. I have a couple of these older ones, like I think I have Thinner and Highlander on, like these ones. So I have another one to add to these, they're from Republic Pictures. So I have another one of these to add to my collection, and it was complete and everything, and it was in really good shape. It is worth a little bit of money, like 20 bucks, I believe. But the second one, if you can find Freeway 2, that is even rarer. That's probably one of the rarest movies you can ever find on DVD is Freeway 2. But this is the first Freeway here. This one is quite uncommon for me as well. I've never seen this one out thrifting or anything. Uh, it stars Kiefer, Suther Kiefer Sutherland and Reese Witherspoon. I've never seen this movie, so if you guys have seen it, leave a comment down below. It seems to be pretty interesting, but yeah, Freeway. Thought I'd pick that one up, too, because it is out of print. So that was the one and only, I guess, DVD movie that I picked up. So now I have another really super cool set here. It's not a movie or anything. It's a miniseries, I believe. And that is From the Earth to the Moon. And look at that beautiful box, man. That is so cool. And you have, like, the Earth here, and it's, like, lenticular. So there's the Earth right now. If you turn it, it turns into the moon. So that is super cool. It is an HBO miniseries, I believe, and it comes in this really cool, like, shiny box. HBO has always had the best, like, boxes for everything. But this thing kind of just slips off a whole lot. But if you take that off, and if you take this out here, it's just kind of like this little thing right there. You have this. So this is the actual DVD case here, and, you know, from the back and everything. And actually, Tom Hanks is an executive producer on this, and I believe he's also in the show as well. And uh, if, you want, if we open it up here, this is just such a beautiful set. There's the inside there. It just tells you about all 12 episodes. And they are spread across on uh, five discs. And they list a whole bunch of bonus features on there as well. And this is just such a beautiful set. Like I said, HBO probably makes the best box sets for their shows and everything. They just give... Um, like A plus treatment for their shows, but yeah, from the Earth to the Moon, just a nice little kind of mini series, just talking about you know the the space race and everything between you the U S and the U S S R. So just a super cool one. It should be really interesting as well. But yeah, from the Earth to the Moon, beautiful box set, and for only eight bucks, I couldn't pass this one up. So that is from the Earth to the Moon. And then the last thing I picked up there, you guys won't believe this, but I was looking through their records, and they actually had a few laser discs there. I didn't pick up all of them because they were super expensive. They were like 10 bucks, but I decided to pick up one of them. There was one that, uh, actually, there was a guy that was looking through them as well, and he grabbed the one that I wanted to get, and that was Empire Strikes Back on Laserdisc. I really wanted that one, but I settled for the next coolest one, and that is Top Gun on Laserdisc. I do have... An okay collection of laser discs, I guess. I only have about four movies, but not, well, five now. But I have Scream, King Kong, Fantasia, Terminator 2, and now Top Gun on laser disc here. And this is actually the original one, and for ten bucks, I could not pass this one up. I didn't grab any of the other ones. The other ones they had there were Aliens, The Rock, uh, Die Hard, and there was something else there I can't I can't really remember but they had a whole bunch of those ones I would have picked all of them up if they were like five bucks each or maybe even three but yeah ten bucks is just too much for to grab like every single one of those so I just settled for Top Gun because I do like this artwork and everything and the disc is the disc is in absolutely gorgeous shape and for being a for being a laser disc from 1990 it is in amazing shape the only thing is the the case is a little bit damaged, as you can see, like it's kind of flaking there, and there are some kind of wrinkles on the case. But other than that, it's in beautiful shape, and I'm really happy to have this one. And uh, yeah, so that is Top Gun on Laserdisc. So another one to add to my Laserdisc collection, my very small Laserdisc collection.
I wish it included one of those sleeves as well that I have for the other ones, but whatever. So that was it for the Saver stuff, so now I will go on to the Goodwill stuff. So I only picked up three things there, but the last thing really more than makes up for it. But the first one is actually another Blu-ray, and that is a Blu-ray 3D 3-pack here which includes Journey to the Center of the Earth 3D, Drive Angry 3D, and Hoodwink 2, Hood vs. Evil in 3D. And this is from Alliance Atlantis, I believe. It's a really kind of odd, odd-ish set, because when you open them up here, this is actually a Warner Brothers movie, but they released it under Alliance Atlantis for some reason. But they all come on three discs here, so you have Journey to the Center of the Earth, Drive Angry, and then... Hoodwink too, but look at that beautiful hair that Nick Cage has right there. But the only one that I've seen out of all these 3D ones is Journey to the Center of the Earth. That's the only one I've seen out of all these. I haven't seen Drive Angry, and, and I don't think I've seen Hoodwink too. I know I think I've seen the original Hoodwinked, but not not the second one here, and not Drive Angry. I haven't seen that one either. But Journey to the Center of the Earth is the only one I've seen in 3D, and I believe it was actually not too bad of a 3D movie. There's, you know, some stuff coming at you and everything. I did watch it. Actually, I think I watched it probably, I would say, maybe about 10 years ago, I'd say. And I watched it on DVD and not on Blu-ray. We didn't have, like, 3D Blu-rays. But I watched Journey to the Center of the Earth in 3D with the, on DVD with the, like, the cardboard 3D glasses. So not like the, you know, the plastic ones that you have in the theaters and that, or the plastic ones that you get with the 3D TVs. But I watched that one on DVD with the cardboard glasses, and I believe it was actually a pretty cool 3D movie as well. There was, like I said, there's stuff coming at you and everything. Actually, this video, if I keep doing this, that would be a really cool 3D thing. I wish I could do 3D videos, but uh, yeah, Blu-ray 3D, Journey to the Center of the Earth, Drive Angry, and Hoodwink 2. So definitely be sure to probably watch Journey to the Center of the Earth again. And maybe, maybe Drive Angry and Hoodwink 2, we'll see. But yeah, that is three movies there on Blu-ray 3D. And then the next movie that I picked up is actually a triple feature here, and it's one that I've been wanting to get for a while because I've, I, out of these comedy favorites collections from Universal, this was the only one that I didn't have at least one movie out of, and that is the Tom Hanks comedy favorites collection with The Money Pit, The Burbs, and Dragnet. This one also came with, you know, the cardboard sleeve and everything, but this is what it comes with and everything. But on here... Like I said, Money Pit, The Burbs, and Dragnet. So you get the Money Pit on its own disc for some reason. And then you get disc 2 here, which you get both The Burbs and Dragnet. Which, I don't really get why. They could have just probably released all of these on three discs. But probably to cut back on cost, they just put two movies on one disc. And I don't know why they chose the Money Pit to be the one and only movie on the disc. But, yeah, it's... Uh, Three hilarious movies, as it says on the back. The only one I've seen out of these is The Money Pit, and I do enjoy... I did enjoy that one. I haven't seen The Burbs. I do want to watch The Burbs, though, and Dragnet I have not seen, so... That is the Tom Hanks Comedy Favorites Collection. I believe they also have a... They actually had a Steve Martin one there. With, I know it had Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid, The Jerk, and something else. I can't remember what was on that one, but... If I was to get the Steve Martin one, you know, I already have The Jerk, so... I don't really need to get that one, but I'd probably be just getting it for Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid. And I also have a John Candy one as well, which they have Uncle Buck, Great Outdoors, and Going Berserk on there. If I were to get that one, I'd probably just be getting it for Going Berserk, which I don't think has ever actually gotten like a solo DVD release. But this is the Tom Hanks Comedy Favorites Collection. I really kind of wish Tom Hanks would do like another comedy movie, because he put out a lot of great comedies in the 80s as well, and I would like to see him kind of take a break from more kind of drama-ish stuff and just do just cut loose and do another comedy movie that'd be pretty cool but yeah tom hanks comedy favorites collection with the money pit the burbs and dragonette this is also part of the franchise collection as well so that is that one and this next one here and actually the last one is the coolest thing i've probably found all month and it is a tin set here well it's not really a tin set but it's a type of DVD that I know a lot of collectors do have in their collections. And a lot of, like, the smaller ones do as well. I, I was kind of feeling like the only person that didn't actually have one of these in their collection. Now I do, and I'm proud to say that I am the proud owner of a Walt Disney Treasures tin set. This is the Complete Pluto from 1930 to 1947. 
like I said, I am now the proud owner of a Walt Disney Treasures DVD. These I can never, ever, ever find anywhere, and I had to pay $15 for this one, unfortunately. But it's all worth it, though, because I now have a Walt Disney Treasures DVD in my set, or in my collection. But I kind of wish it was a different character, like I kind of wish it was a different movie, like or DVD like Goofy or Donald Duck or something. I wish it was one of those characters, even like Mickey Mouse would be nice, or even like the Lost Short, the Lost Disney Shorts or something. But this is the complete Pluto from 1930 to 1947, and yeah, I'll just open this up here, and it does still have the tin and everything, which is awesome. But this comes off here, and inside, let me just take this off here. You have like the actual like DVD in here. It's in one of these like thick cases. And this is actually volume one, so there might be a volume two in here as well. And also in here you get like a little booklet here, so that's really kind of cool. Like Walt Disney Treasures, and then you have Walt Disney himself there, and then Mickey Mouse going hand in hand. And they kind of just kind of talk about the sets in here as well. And they just talk about all the different, you know, like Pluto shorts and that. And then they just show like what kind of shorts are on here as well. <clears throat> so actually I'll just show you this if you guys want to pause and read those whatever is on there then there you go Those are all the shorts that are on this one And there's also from the vault ones as well. You get pantry pirate and a gentleman's gentleman and uh, Yeah, there's that and then you also have a really cool little reproduction of a poster there But I do want to open this up and show you guys you do have this is probably just attached to the back of the tin but I actually, or you actually get a certificate of authenticity in this one as well. And it says, uh, the Complete Pluto Volume 1, this exclusive collector's tin is produced in a limited series numbering 110,000. This rare material has been selected from the Walt Disney Studio archives and presented in this special offering. Leonard Malton, film historian and Disney Studio aficionado, has personally selected the rare offerings in this set. This is to certify that all of the information and statements contained herein are true and correct. And the one that I got was 91,154 out of 110,000. So that is super cool right there. And it's kind of produced on this little kind of marble-ish background. And you also get this as well. You get a Bone Trouble uh, little poster reproduction here. This image was used as, as a pro uh, poster for the original theatrical release of the short film Bone Trouble in 1940. So that is super cool. I actually really like these Walt Disney Treasure sets. And I wish I could find all of them, but... Probably very hard to come by, and uh, yes, yeah, so you get disc one there, and then you get disc two in there as well. So, like I said, I'm proud to say that I'm now an owner of a Walt Disney Treasure set, especially for how rare these things are. And this one goes for about 60 to about 75 bucks. So, super cool that I ended up finding that. So, there you go, guys. That is about it for this video. So, ton of cool stuff here. And, you know, including this laser disc as well. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Twitter and Instagram, Twitter and Instagram links will be in the in the description down below if you want to follow me on there. Also be sure to check out my IMDb profile page. The link for that will be down below in the description of this video as well to see what I've been watching recently. Also, if you're new to my channel or if you're already subscribed, be sure to click the bell to be notified of future videos. A new video every Tuesday and Friday. So anyway, though, guys, that is about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.